Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars, the Sloppy Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys a uh, collab video with my good friend, Jesse Drew. And we're doing the Speak Now collab. Um, so this is kind of an idea that Jesse had approached to me about. And first off, I can must say I'm completely honored out of everyone that she chose me um, to do this collab with. So basically... Um, the way that this collab worked is Jesse and I both have the same 13 questions that we're going to answer about the album Speak Now. Um, as many of you guys may know, Speak Now is my favorite Taylor Swift album of all time, hands down. Um, and it's actually one of Jesse's favorite albums by her as well. And so she told me that it was kind of a no-brainer for her to have us do this collab together, which I'm completely fucking honored that this bitch chose me to do this because... She could have chose anyone, and she chose me. So, I'm so very grateful that Jesse, you know, agreed to let your, you know, let me do the swap with her, or not swap, because we've done those. Um, to do this thing with her. So we're gonna be doing it on the Speak Now album, which I really like this wallpaper. So, anyway, first album, the first song is the first song you heard off of Speak Now. First song I heard was mine, and I have to remember when it got released. Um, there was a lot of, like, controversy that went around with it because, um, it, like, there was, like, it was supposed to get released on, like, the 26th of August, and I think it ended up getting released on, like, the 14th of August. Don't hold me to those dates, but I know that it got released early because, um, it leaked somehow, and Taylor didn't want her fans hearing a shitty copy of the song. So she went ahead and released it early, and then we got the music video shortly thereafter. Favorite song off of Speak Now is probably The Story of Us. Um, I was kind of torn between The Story of Us and Haunted, but honestly, it's probably The Story of Us. I love, love, love The Story of Us. It's a beautiful song, beautifully written, and just kind of the idea behind it all. Um, favorite music video from Speak Now, probably... I don't think you can count Haunted. Um, there was like a NBC special where she did Haunted and I really, really liked that. She actually did it in the house on Haunted Hill. Um, and I was Taylor Swift for Halloween a few years ago and I recreated that outfit. So I really liked that one, but that's not Ted Only Clean Music Video. Um, if I had to choose a music video, it would probably be Back to December. Um, just because I really do like that music video. Um, next one is favorite live performance from Speak Now was at the Speak Now tour she did um, Back to December mixed with Haunt, or not Haunt, mixed with You're Not Sorry mixed with um, Apologize. And I loved that song, like I loved the mashup. And what was cool was some people got the reference, but the reason that Taylor did One Republic's Apologize in there was because like well before Taylor was famous on for, you know, being in the, the Twilight series, you know, obviously Back to December is about Taylor Lautner. Um, he actually had a music video where he was lip-syncing to Apologize. So that was kind of like her cute little, like, say in there. And I, I just loved how it all kind of flowed together, and it just was an amazing mashup, and I loved it. Normally when you hear mashups are almost always, like, high beat, fast tempo, like, that's the kind of thing. So it was really cool to see, like, a slowed down, beautiful mashup. Um, favorite quote from Speak Now, and I actually have this as a tattoo, and it's, I've never heard silence quite this loud, it's from Spe um, The Story of Us, and just, that, that simple quote has so much meaning to me, it's not even funny, so that's hands down my favorite quote. Um, never grow up or innocent, I would probably say innocent just because of the meaning behind the song. I do like Never Grow Up. Um, but aesthetically, I like Innocent a lot more. I like the song, like the theory behind Innocent. And it's just a beautiful kind of, um, saying I forgive you song. And, which, I mean, Innocent is about the whole dispute between her and Kanye West. So, 
What song do I wish was a single off of Speak Now? Who? I probably would say Long Live. I know Long Live got like um, a lot of hype through the fandom, but I think it would have been really cool as a music video. Um, there's a lot of symbolism in that song, and I would love to see Taylor re you know, create those visually and see what was going through her mind when she wrote the song versus you know what we think was going through her mind. I always love to see Taylor's creative approach to things just because what we think she's thinking versus what she's really thinking sometimes are completely different. Do, 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 do. Least favorite song from Speak Now is honestly probably... It's probably mean, and the reason it's mean is literally because of how much that song got overplayed. Um, that song, I still to this day, I don't think I can go a week without hearing somewhere. That song was just completely overplayed, and I love the idea behind the song, but it was just way, way too overplayed. Um, first impression to speak now, I fell in love with this album the moment I heard it. Aesthetically, it went through completely, and the fact that Taylor wrote every single song on this album by herself, no co-writers, no nothing, just blew me away. And I would really love Taylor to create another album like this, because it was just an amazing work of art that she has yet to top, in my opinion. Haunted or Enchanted, hands down Haunted. I love Haunted. It's just a, such a different approach to it. And when we got to see the behind the scenes of how Speak Now was made, and Taylor had like this huge string orchestra playing on the song with her, it's just amazing. Favorite thing that came from Speak Now? I feel like this was kind of the album... This was her first over a million records sold in a week album. Um, and I feel like this was the album that a lot of people started to become fans of Taylor Swift. Um, so I liked the kind of social acceptance this album got. But I also liked how there wasn't a... Like, this, this album did bring out the first, you know, everybody's like... There was obviously the joke going around that, you know, Taylor Swift needs to write a song called Maybe I'm the Problem, which this album has, you know, back to December, which is seriously the song that says, I fucked up, and this is my fault that I fucked up. Um, so a lot of things good came from this album, and I think just the social acceptance and the fact that Taylor did what people said that she, that, you know, people to the J day joke that she needs to do, but it never got realized on this album, even though it was a huge mega hit. Um, favorite memory of Speak Now, going to see the Speak Now tour, I will remember that day for, you know, every single day of my life, I wore, um, Britney Spears' Midnight, or Island Fantasy to that, so every time I smell that perfume, I think of the Speak Now tour, and just, there's so many good things that came from this, this album, and I feel like in a way, a lot of things that happened with this album saved my life in many ways. And that's part of the reason why I have, I've never heard silence quite this loud tattooed on me. Um, and should Taylor make another album like Speak Now? I t literally already answered this one, and yes. If Taylor wrote another album like Speak Now, I would love it. Um, all her other albums since this, Red and 1989, have both been really good albums. But aesthetically, I think this is Taylor's best album that she has done. Although I'm not a huge fan of this cover like this, I really wish we would have gotten something more like the more long, drawn-out version, and then, you know, made it... I would have liked that more than this. I don't know why I don't like this, um, but even when the album first, first, first came out, I wasn't a huge fan of this cover. I do like this cover a little bit more in the red version, like the red color of the dress, but honestly, if she would have done something like this on the cover, I just love... This shows off so much of her... Like, you know, the half frames and the flowing dresses and, like, the watercolors. I love that, and it's very magical and whimsical. So I wish that would have been carried over to the front cover, and I just feel like the front cover doesn't match the rest of the album. And I feel like something more like this would um, better suit the album, because the album is very... It flows very well, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful album. So, there you guys go. There is my version of the... 
um, speak now tag please 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 if you guys haven't please check the link down below there will be a link to Jesse's video for this tag as well she did the exact same 13 questions I did and if you aren't already please subscribe to my channel as well as Jesse's channel we both will greatly appreciate it so as always guys thanks so much for watching follow me on Twitter A that's perfume and Instagram among the stars perfume links from the description below bye